Now to exclusive details on another slug to Melbourne household budgets. Public transport fares are being hiked in the new year. Brendan Donoghue is at Spring Street this evening and Brendan, what can you tell us? Well, good evening, Peter. Well, it's the gas or electricity prices going up one day, then it's public transport fares the next. So Victorian commuters should brace themselves for uh, increases on their My Key cards well above inflation in the new year, whether they're travelling on trains, trams or buses. Now, in the most used My Key fares will rise by 5.1% from January 1. The new two-year fare will be $4.10 and the daily fare $8.20, adding about $100 a year for a regular commuter. Over four years, My Key fares have risen 15.5%, well above the inflation rate, with the latest rise the biggest. But there's some good news for young families. Four-year-olds will travel free and the concession rate will be extended a year from five-year-olds to 18-year-olds. And the concession cap for children travelling on the weekends will actually drop from $3.90 down to $3. Well, the improvements that we make, um, that these increases in fares uh, can make, can improve public transport and the service that we can offer. So. Um, Generally, commuters um, understand the increases that we make uh, every year. Well, it does all add up. Uh, unfortunately, you know, people will be wondering if public transport is still good value for money. And uh, the last thing we'd want to see is more people um, desert public transport and get back in their cars. But, Peter, the government is still arguing that um, public transport is value for money, that it's cheaper than travelling in a motor car and buying petrol. And they point out that it's not as much as travelling around Sydney, which is more than $15 a day. But the bottom line is that most commuters will have to fork out more in 2017. Peter?